The universe is a grand and beautiful dance, a cosmic symphony unfolding over billions of years. Stars are born, live and die in spectacular cycles, while planets and moons spin in their orbits, all governed by the laws of physics. Each point of light in the night sky is a sun, many with their own hidden worlds. What secrets do these distant planets hold? Are they barren or teeming with life? The universe is vast, filled with possibilities and challenges us to explore. In our Milky Way alone there are hundreds of billions of stars and countless planets. With so many worlds the odds seem good that some could support life. We are living in an age of discovery, building tools to peer deeper into space and listen for whispers from other worlds. No longer just observers, we are becoming explorers, seeking our place in this cosmic story. The search for life beyond Earth is more than science, it's a journey to understand ourselves. The silence of space is not empty, it's filled with potential. The universe is a vast ocean, each star a possible island of life. This is the great adventure of our time. We are part of the cosmic symphony, trying to understand our role. The quest for life is a story about who we are and what we might become. The universe invites us to keep asking, keep searching and keep dreaming. For centuries we only knew the planets in our solar system. Now, we've discovered thousands of exoplanets, worlds orbiting distant stars. Among them one stands out, Proxima Centauri b, or Proxima b, our closest exoplanet neighbor. Proxima b orbits a small red dwarf star just four light years away, cosmically right next door. It's a rocky planet, slightly more massive than Earth, and sits in the habitable zone where liquid water could exist. The idea of a potentially habitable world so close is thrilling, a mysterious island just off our cosmic coast. Scientists are captivated. Does Proxima b have an atmosphere? Water? Could it harbor life? Proxima b is a symbol of hope and possibility, our best chance to study an Earth-like world up close. But there are challenges. Its star, Proxima Centauri is active and unleashes powerful flares that could strip away a planet's atmosphere. Is Proxima b a paradise or a barren rock? We don't know yet and that's what makes it so exciting. The mystery of Proxima b drives us to explore, it's a prime target for our most powerful telescopes. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. Proxima b calls to our curiosity and our desire to explore the unknown. It represents the next step in our search for life. The universe is full of questions and Proxima b is one of its most intriguing. We are ready to seek answers. The adventure has just begun. To answer these questions, we needed a new kind of eye, one powerful enough to see across the vastness of space. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWS, the most advanced space observatory ever built. Its giant golden mirror collects faint light from the most distant objects, seeing the universe in infrared. Infrared vision lets JWS peer through cosmic dust, revealing hidden stars and planets. It's like having a superpower, a way to see the hidden universe. JWS is opening a new window on the cosmos, revealing sights we've only dreamed of. One of its key missions, studying exoplanets like Proxima b JWS, can analyze the light passing through their atmospheres, searching for signs of life. This is a giant leap forward, no longer just guessing but truly characterizing other worlds. For decades we had only data points and models, now, we can fill in the blanks. JWS marks the beginning of a new era in astronomy. It's revolutionizing our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The search for another Earth is now within reach. How does JWST search for life? By studying exoplanet atmospheres as planets pass in front of their stars, starlight filters through the atmosphere, and different gases absorb specific wavelengths, creating a chemical fingerprint. This technique, called transit spectroscopy, reveals what the air is made of. JWST can search for biosignatures, gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor that could indicate life. Finding both oxygen and methane together would be a strong hint, as they normally destroy each other. The search is careful and patient, building a case piece by piece. JWS will study many worlds including Proxima b, gathering data on their atmospheres. With JWS, the search for life is no longer science fiction, it's happening now. In 2019, astronomers using a radio telescope in Australia detected something strange, a faint narrowband radio signal from the direction of Proxima Centauri. The signal, called Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1 BLC1, lasted for hours and was unlike any natural or human-made emission they'd seen. For a moment the world wondered, could this be a message from an alien civilization? The signal's frequency and drift matched what you might expect from a transmitter on a moving planet. It was the most intriguing candidate since the famous WOW signal of 1977. 
scientists launched a thorough investigation, sifting through massive data and searching for alternative explanations. After months of analysis, they traced the signal to rare human-made interference, an earthly culprit, not aliens. The mystery was solved, but the story mattered. It proved our search for extraterrestrial intelligence is working, our tools are sensitive enough to catch even the faintest signals. The BLC-1 episode reminded us to be rigorous and skeptical in our search. Every false alarm teaches us more about the universe, and about ourselves. The search continues, undeterred, we are ready for the next signal. The search for life is evolving, we're not just listening for radio signals anymore. Now, we're looking for techno-signatures, signs of alien technology, like city lights on distant worlds. Earth glows at night with artificial light, a clear sign of civilization. Detecting city lights on an exoplanet is a huge challenge, but future telescopes may make it possible. Scientists are developing techniques and models to recognize the spectral signatures of artificial light. If we detected such a signature from another world it would be a stunning discovery, a direct sign of technology. The search for techno-signatures expands our quest from life to intelligence. We're looking for cosmic engineers, not just cosmic biology. The universe may hold more than life, it may hold minds like our own. The search for a glimmer in the dark is a quest for connection. Our journey to the stars is just beginning. Every discovery, from Mars to Proxima b, teaches us about the universe and ourselves. The search for life unites us, transcending borders and cultures. It's powered by curiosity, the same drive that led our ancestors to explore new worlds. We look up and wonder, are we alone? Even if we don't find life, the search itself is valuable. Studying other worlds helps us understand and cherish our own. The cosmic perspective gives us humility and reminds us we're all crew on a small blue spaceship. We are made of stardust, a way for the cosmos to know itself. Our search continues, listening, looking, exploring. The cosmic symphony plays on, and we yearn to know if anyone else is listening. This is our cosmic quest, a journey of wonder and hope. The adventure is far from over.